Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm excited to talk about the Meta AR Developer Professional Certificate offered by Coursera and Meta. In this video, I'm gonna give you guys a complete walkthrough of the entire course. We'll talk about what you need to know before taking this course, what you'll learn, including the curriculum and what to expect throughout the course, and also the career outcomes, uh, what to expect once you take this course and how it will help you. I also have a special announcement at the end of the video. I'm doing my first ever giveaway, so make sure you guys stay tuned all the way until the end. I also wanna thank Coursera for sponsoring this video. If you wanna check out this course, I'll leave a link in the description below. It'll take you directly to the webpage. But with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and see what this course has to offer. Now, as you guys know, there's been so much hype built around the augmented reality and virtual reality industries uh, for the past recent years. But as of right now, the augmented reality industry is expected to become an $88 billion industry by 2026. And this statistic is pretty much telling me that a lot of these companies are going to continue to invest um, and put in money into developing augmented reality uh, throughout their companies. So this is going to be a huge opportunity for those who are currently in computer science, um, whether you're a student or a graduate, if you're someone who is in web development or software development, um, this course is going to be a perfect way for you to tap in and branch into a new augmented reality industry. Now, this course is going to be a little bit different from those I've reviewed in the past in that it's going to be an intermediate level course. It's going to be recommended that you have some form of background or experience when it comes to web development or object-oriented programming. So that's going to be the main difference between this course and also the courses that I've reviewed in the past, but everything else is relatively similar. Uh, the course itself is going to be completely online, so the main benefit with that is the fact that you can build this around your own schedule. I know a lot of you guys are probably working full-time or full-time students, um, so you're going to be able to use this course and really build it around your own schedule. So the payment structure for this course is based off of a monthly subscription. So if you take one month to complete the entire course, you'll just pay for one month of cost. If you take six months to complete the entire course, you'll pay for six months. Um, Coursera says on the website that it takes around three months to complete the entire course uh, if you allocate 10 hours per week uh, towards this course. Uh, so take that into consideration, but uh, whatever you spend or however long you take to complete the entire course is going to be how much you end up paying. So the certification itself is comprised of seven different courses that go over various topics in AR. The courses themselves are comprised of videos, readings, and lectures um, that are taught by meta experts and professionals. So with that being said though, let's go ahead and hop into my computer and see exactly what these courses cover. All right, you guys, so I have these seven different courses pulled up for the Meta AR Developer Professional Certification right over here. And course number one is called Foundations of AR, where they pretty much walk you through exactly how AR is currently being used, uh, what it can do, and also some of the future aspects of AR. Course number two is called AR and Marketing using MetaSpark. I know before I mentioned how uh, this course really covers multiple different facets of AR, and in this case, it's going to go over how AR is utilized in marketing and also using a platform called MetaSpark, uh, where you pretty much is pretty much used to develop different AR experiences. Um, so learn how to navigate that as well. Course number three is called AR for web using JavaScript. Once again, in this case, AR is going to be uh, looked into about how it's used to develop web pages and web experiences and things of that nature. Um, you also learn how to use a platform called Play Canvas, which is also another way to develop um, sort of games and things of that nature uh, for AR. And course number four is called Unity and C Sharp Basics. Uh, Unity is another platform that's used to de develop things like AR games and things of that nature. And obviously C Sharp is just the programming language that's used to do so. Um, so course four will give you a pretty much a good rundown of exactly how those two combine in order to develop AR games. Course number five is called Using AR Foundation in Unity. Uh, this is pretty much putting what you learned in course four into actions. So you'll get hands-on experience from there. Uh, course number six is called AR Games using Vuforia SDK, a uh, software development kit. Uh, Vuforia is another platform that's used to develop games as well. Um, so this course is going to give you uh, another uh, sort of layer to developing games uh, using AR, uh, using a different platform as well. Course number seven is called MetaSpark Creator AR Certification. Uh, this is pretty much where you prepare for the final exam in order to get this certification. You'll learn how to schedule the exam, um, also provide you with some resources in order to prepare for taking the final exam as well. 
So those are gonna be the seven different courses that comprise of the certification. So the main idea that you're really getting across is the fact that you'll get a pretty widespread knowledge on different aspects of AR, including AR and web, AR and marketing, uh, AR and games, and things of that sort. In addition to that, throughout these courses, you'll get some hands-on experience with using platforms like Spark AR, Unity, Play Canvas, and also using different programming languages like JavaScript and C Sharp. So overall, guys, you're gonna learn a bunch of different things involving AR. So if you're someone who is currently a computer science student or a graduate, or someone who is a web developer or a software developer, um, this course is gonna be huge for you because you can really utilize your background experience and your knowledge to branch yourself into a completely new industry and really aid in your development for the future. I think another huge plus that this course has to offer is the fact that the course itself is completely online, so you can really do it and build it around your own schedule. In addition to that, it's not bad to have meta on your resume and show that you're really investing in yourself and also looking into AR. So with that being said, that is pretty much it for the course overview for this video. I also have a huge announcement right now to make. Uh, so in order to celebrate the release of the Meta AR Developer Professional Certificate, I'm going to go ahead and do my first ever giveaway on this YouTube channel for this video. I'll be giving away 10 Oculus VR headsets to 10 different winners. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below with your Instagram handle so I can reach out to you if you're randomly selected as a winner. This giveaway is gonna be for US residents only, and also it's gonna last throughout the entire month of May of 2023. So your last day to enter the giveaway is gonna be May 31st, 2023. So I'll be randomly selecting 10 different winners in the beginning of June, so make sure you guys stay tuned and check your DMs for that. Also wanna thank you guys so much for supporting the channel for the past few years. This giveaway wouldn't have been possible without you guys. Um, also, I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested in taking this course. It will take you directly to the webpage. But with that being said, though, guys, that is pretty much it for the video. Best of luck to each and one of you guys, and thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.